Bass six is a mix between a guitar and a bass. For for some more context, my video about some bands that use the bass six, wherever the thing pops up, uh, is a good starter video. Um, but now that I've had this guitar for almost a year, I figured it was probably a good time to give my review. You know, after spending a lot of time playing it. Um, typically, you want to try something out. <laughs> when you want to try something out, you don't really want to spend too much money because you don't really know if you're going to like it or not. And I think the Sub-Zero Rogue 6 that I'm holding right here is probably one of the go-tos for starting out with the basics. But is it really worth it? So I guess that's what we're going to talk about in this video. The two main guitars that the Sub-Zero Rogue 6 is really competing with is the Harley Benton Guitar Bass Vintage Series, whatever the long name is, and the Squire Bass 6. Uh, the Squire Base 6 does come in at a higher price point, so around 480 retail, and that's not including shipping and taxes. And the Harley Benton Guitar Base, I think, is going for 198 and I'll put a screenshot here. Um, and shipping from Germany can add a decent amount depending on where you live. So from Germany to New York, for example, I was ex always expecting around $70 in shipping when I ordered from Tillman. Uh, meanwhile, the Sub-Zero, the time of recording I checked was 191 which shipping for to New York was around a hundred bucks, so prices are super similar. Um, I do think this is a little more expensive than the Harley Benton, but it's really competing with that Harley Benton, and I would say the Squire is <laughs> already mid ranged. <laughs> so taking a look at the actual aesthetic of this guitar, one of the most important things is um, this is one of my favorite looking guitars that I probably own. Uh, it comes in two different colors, as far as I know, um, this Tobacco Sunburst, and then. A white variant and the white variant honestly looks super nice but when I purchased it the sunburst was on sale so I went with that one um, the shape is essentially the same shape as many of the other base sixes a little bit here um, on the market but it's really like a Jaguar shaped uh, and I think the Squire base six is also a super similar shape if not the exact same shape on the neck you have these really nice block inlays on top of a laurel fretboard on the headstock, you have a more unique shaped headstock. Um, I think this is my least favorite part, honestly, aesthetically, of the guitar. I'm not the biggest fan of the logo and the headstock shape, but overall, I think the guitar honestly looks super beautiful. Now that we got the important stuff out of the way, you know, price, aesthetics, let's talk about the boring parts, the specs. The Sub-Zero Rogue 6 is considered a baritone guitar um, with a scale length of 30 inches. It's honestly a bit bigger than a typical baritone guitar, I think. Um, which is why this is considered a base six stock. It comes with 24 to 84 gauge strings, which is not as thick as bass strings, but it's way thicker than typical guitar strings. I haven't put thicker strings on this, but I am honestly considering it because at some lower tunings, the strings are a bit floppy. Um, in standard, the strings feel great and they're not like loose. Standard is low already, so <laughs> um, it has a bolt on maple neck while the body itself is made of alder. Um, on the neck, you'll find 22 extra jumbo frets, which is low-key the best size for frets, I would say, at least personally. They feel really great. It does have cupro nickel frets, which I've now learned is like a mix of copper and nickel. I had honestly never heard of it. But at a price, you know, under 200 bucks, it's hard to expect stainless steel. It's not impossible, but it's hard to expect it. And I honestly don't mind the frets. I've never felt anything sharp when playing. Now almost a year into playing this guitar. It has a string through body with a tunomatic bridge, which is it's just fine. <laughs> um, honestly, for the price, I was a bit surprised with the quality of the guitar. I was expecting something at this price point to need some setup. But for me, it was playable right out of the box. The nut here, I'll try to get it, is a graphite. And the tuners are chrome diecast tuners, but I haven't really had any issues with tuning stability. I played this guitar for, you know, hours at a time and maybe tune up once in the middle of playing. That's hours of playing. I do want to say that this may not be the same experience that you have if you purchase this guitar. Guitars at this price point, you know, like very cheap. <laughs> I feel like they're usually hit or miss. Sometimes they do need a ton of setup when you get them. I honestly may have just gotten lucky and received a very good quality guitar. I don't think people really have bad experiences with this guitar, but you you know you never know. Now that we got that little disclaimer out of the way, let's move on to the pickups. Um, adding this in later, I didn't focus too much on the specs here, just because one, you know, those are widely available online. The specs, and at this price point, you're not really getting anything too special. So I didn't think it was worth you know 
focusing a large chunk of this video on the specs and I'd ra much rather focus on the actual sounds that you get out of it. Um, but if you'd like me to go more in depth on specs in future reviews, just let me know. You know, I'm just trying things out. Anyways, back to the video. One of the biggest differences between this base 6 and something like the Harley Benton or even the Squire are the pickups, I think. Most base sixes come with these vintage style single coil pickups. Meanwhile, this Sub Zero Rogue Six comes with two ceramic humbucker pickups. I think this really is the biggest difference between choosing this guitar and choosing either the Harley Benton or the Squire. Personally, I prefer humbuckers over single coils, you know, ninety percent of the time, which is why I ended up choosing this guitar over that Harley Benton. And ultimately, it really comes down to what you prefer. But we're fortunate to be in a time where you have the two choices for around the same price. So you could really, it's just preference. I think with those specs out of the way, I'll let you guys listen to the, some of the sounds you can get out of these guitars. All of the tones I'll be playing are coming from an old Axe FX Ultra being recorded into my computer. Uh, so I'll go through some clean and dirty tones, switch around the pickups. Let you guys decide how you guys feel about the sound. Personally, I love the sounds you can get out of the humbuckers on this thing. What did, what did you guys think? I mean, let me know in the comments. One thing I don't see many people talk about when talking about the basics or baritone guitars in general that have really thick strings is that your fingers might have to adjust to playing thicker strings. So expect calluses if you aren't used to it. I've played a lot of bass, so luckily my fingers were like okay on it. But if you're looking to just get started and haven't really played thicker strings, definitely think about that because your fingers are going to suffer a bit. <laughs> Overall, I think at this price point, you can't really complain too much, to be honest. Um, after a ye almost a year of playing it, I haven't really had any issues with it, and I've been super happy with the purchase of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I never had to get it set up. Um, I never had to do anything to it, to be honest. And I've been super happy with the purchase. I think at this price point, you know, sub two hundred. If you include shipping. It does get close to $300, which I think is still probably the cheapest you could find one of these for. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure there's probably some brand I've never heard of that has them cheaper. But I think for like the, the reputation that this has, you know, 
we have bands like Loathe playing this, which Loathe probably is the one that made this brand, this specific brand, super popular. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I just don't think you can complain at that price point. Uh, if you guys have this guitar, let me know how you felt about it. Uh, if you don't have this guitar, let me know what your thoughts are after watching this video. Um, like I said, I've been super happy with it. And I would definitely recommend it if you're just starting out with baritone guitars or bass sixes. Uh, bass sixes specifically just because it is a longer scale length. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments.